Hello, this is Mrs. Thompson at the Fine Arts Academy here in Mansfield, and I am creating this video to show you how to create a digital poster using Canva. So first we want to start with our class link if you're a student here in Mansfield, and hopefully you have Canva already installed on your class link. And you can see mine is right here, is this little turquoise circle. If you do not have Canva, all you have to do is go up here to where your little magnifying glass is and type in Canva. And it is different than your Canvas where your classes are. It's the Canva. And if you don't have it, you can click on that and you can add it to your class link very quick and very easy. And so once you have it on your class link, which you, I do highly recommend you put it on there because especially if you're one of my students here at the Fine Arts Academy, we will be using it a lot over the next week or so. Then click on Canva and it will take you straight to it. Now I am currently signed in, but I'm actually signed in on the wrong account. So I am going to sign out. And when you open yours up, it should look something like this because you will not be signed in. And unless you've already gone to Canva before, like I had been to Canva before and I was signed in. So if it's your first time, then you want to use your Google account especially those of you that are MISD students, okay? And you want to use your MISD, your student email, your student password, and that will take you into that account. So that is the account that we want to go to, okay? And then it should look something like this. And there's all kinds of stuff on here. And here you can see, uh, my designs that I have. This is actually where I created the logo for our academy. Um, and here's where I created my email signature. Here's where I created some posters for our classroom. You can see all kinds of different things on here that I've created in the past. Now we're going to be making something from scratch. So first we're going to go right up here to where it says create a design and you're going to click on that and then you're going to go down to where it says classroom poster and click on that and then it will look something like this okay now when you first go in there they have all kinds of little templates and things that you could work with so if you were making something just for fun um, like for example, in my case, if I was making a classroom rules poster, like it obviously has figured out I'm a teacher, <laughs> um, you could use some of these templates that are in here. But we are going to start from scratch, meaning the beginning. So we're gonna go over here to where it says background and click on that. And then here you see all kinds of backgrounds. Here you can see the backgrounds that I have used in some of my other projects. These are all different kinds of landscapes, then all different kinds of patterns, gradients, meaning um, colors going from light to dark. Sometimes we call that an ombre. Um, abstract designs, food. Now, one thing to think about with your background is the text or the letters that you're going to be putting on there. Um, sometimes it can be difficult to read it if, depending on what you put on there. So keep that sort of thing in mind. So this is kind of neat. It looks like a little football field. I like the grass. And what you're doing is you're going to make a poster about your favorite thing. For me, my favorite things are my dog, Shiba Inus. So I'm looking for a fun background for Shiba Inus. That heart's kind of cute. 
but it's right in the middle. Let me see here. I kind of like that grass one. Let me see. And if you're scrolling really fast, like I did just then, as you can see, it'll take a minute for it to load up. This one's also kind of fun. I'm going to give that one a try. And I click on it, and it puts it right here on my paper. And I could change it, like if I wanted the grass instead. I could click on that. I could click on this instead. So you could change it just because you add something does not mean you're stuck with it and you don't necessarily have to make it go away to add a different background. So you can play around with it for a few minutes and see what it is that you want to add. For now, I'm going to leave it with that so I can move on with the video. Next, we're going to go to text. And here, this is where you can add your words and what you want it to say. So here, this is where you're going to tell us what your favorite thing is to let us know a little bit more about it. Now here you could just um, kind of start from scratch where you could put, like for me, I could put Shiba Inu. That would be the large word for the main heading. And then my subheading, I could put, um, you know, my favorite dog, or my favorite pet. Um, down here, you also have things that are already created for you and already have neat designs that you can use. So you can go down here. I typically go straight down to these because they've already done a lot of the work for you. And so you can scroll through here. I tend to like the ones where they use two different fonts. And again, if you're scrolling kind of fast, sometimes it has to load. And so I'm looking for something because it'll be two words for me, Shiba Inu. And so I'm trying to decide what I want to use. As I'm going further down, I'm getting less and less impressed. I'm going to go back up to the beginning. And I'm going to go with this one. When this is Go Getter. And I can change the colors of that. So, so first I'm going to highlight that. I just double clicked on it. And I'm going to write Shiva. And notice while I have it selected, I'm going to highlight it again. Right here where it's pink, I can go over here and I can change it. And I can make it black or maybe that'll make it stand out a little bit more. And then where it says Getter, I'm going to change it to cursor over here where the R is. And Inu. Okay, now again, I like that. Notice how that's kind of that teal. You don't want teal on top of teal. Change that to black too. And let's see how that's looking. I can move it up. Kind of leaving it in the middle there. Shiba Inu. I kind of want to make that Shiba look solid. Don't know if it's gonna let me or not. Huh. I'll come back to that. Now I'm going to, I want to add a picture of Shiba Inu. And that may be a little harder because that's getting very, very, very specific. But I'm going to go over here to where it says elements. And this is where you can find all kinds of pictures that you have. You have like clip art pictures, you have basic shapes. I can see things that I've already used. There's photographs, all kinds of stuff. So first I'm going to go up here and I'm going to type in Shiba Inu. And it's very specific. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> I am impressed. I really didn't think they would have it but they do. Oh, and look at that one. I really like that one. Put that 
one. I can make him really big if I wanted. Or I can make him a little smaller. Let's see what else they have on here. I could also go a different direction and stick with the photographs and go more realistic, a little more professional looking. Oh, look at that. That's animated. How nice is that? All right, let's make this little guy go away. So I, I clicked on him to select him and I'm del hit delete. So I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to move it down so I can still see my letters. I want to do that. So I'm trying to get it. Here we go. The little cross sign right there. That's what I want to touch. Oh, that's making the letters go up. That's good. That actually makes it easier to see that. And look at that. I got my little video. I'm trying to get my cursor out of the way there. Bring it up. Play. Play. Oh, he's so cute. I kind of want to move this down, but it's not. Oh, look at that. I can make him bigger. And what I did is I just, I clicked on him and I dragged it down to make it bigger. And then maybe I could put some informational text here, like put a little something about the Shiba Inu or explain the Shiba Inu, like maybe that they're a Japanese breed, um, where they come, you know, come from, things like that. Um, and so hopefully you're getting the idea there of how it works. Um, if now one thing to think about is with this animated little clip here, when I print it out, obviously that's not going to be animated. So it's probably not going to be the best choice in the world even though it is really neat. So I'm going to go through and look. Oh, this picture is precious. I love that picture. It's a good picture. I like that. Oh, I don't know why I did that. It kind of jumped away from me there. So I'm going to move that there. I'm going to move the word to the middle. Notice how I'm touching it with the cross this little part right here, because that's what I can move. And then I'm going to try to find a picture to put above it. Oh, except I'm move the words again. Move this little guy up here. He's a little too big, so I'm going to make him a little smaller. So he's not so top heavy up here. And I got my word. See again the little cross. I'm going to use that to move it up. And there's my Shiba Inu poster. Now, if this was something real that I would be printing out and turning in, I would definitely spend more time on this and um, making it look better. But um, I think you get the idea on how you get started. Um, I could still change the background if I wanted, switch the pictures out. I could change the text. There's all kinds of things you could do. Um, you could spend a lot of time on it. Now, when you're done, um, you go up here to where the little arrow is and you click on that. And this is how you download. Now, you always want to increase the size so you have the best quality that you can. And even though it says it's going to take longer, still do that. Um, depending on what you're doing is whether or not you're going to want a transparent background. With this poster, you're not going to want a transparent background. When I made the logo for our academy, we did want the transparent background. So it just kind of depends on what you're making. And then you'll click on download and it will download it to your device. And you're probably working on your Chromebook. And then you have it on your device and you could print it or you could also send it off somewhere to get printed professionally. And you can see it's taking a little long to download there, but it will be worth it. 
you can even see it doing this little thing here. And then you can share it with people like up here it says share and you can even um, work with someone and collaborate with someone on it so it's really great i love canva there's so many other things that you can do with it um, you can make just about anything with it if i go back to home you can see my other projects that i've made on here you're eventually going to be making a poster for Pandora's box. And this is the example that I made here. And you can see that. Um, again, this is when I made the logo. Right here, it's taking a minute to load up. But I did it all right here on Canva. And when I downloaded this, I did do the transparent background. It is a PNG because I wanted us to be able to put the logo on anything we wanted to put it on and not have that white box around it. So um, there's all kinds of things you can do um, when you're in the beginning and you go to create design. As you can see, there's all kinds of stuff that you can create with it. So it's really neat. And um, the more you work with it, the more comfortable you'll feel with it. And it's really just the very beginning of your graphic design future. So if you have any questions, you know where to find me and I hope you enjoy.